Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. So now let us go for the memorize transaction. Select group. So there are different groups. For example, memorize transaction for accounting, for banking, for company, customers, and so on. First of all, for the accounting, which transaction, uh, which memorize transactions are there under this report? For example, under the accounting, you can see adjusted share balance. Click on this one. You can see the adjusted share balance. This is the unadjusted, and this is the adjustments, and this is the share balance after the adjustment. So definitely, this was without adjustment, and we made the following adjustment. This was adjustment debits and credit. And finally, this is the adjusted share balance. If you remember, we have discussed these things in accounting as well, that we have to make journal, then ledger, then share balance, then adjusting entries, then after that, adjusted share balance, and then financial statements and so on. So the same thing is made in the QuickBook. This is an adjustment or an adjusted balances. We made the adjustments. We made it, of course, through the journal entry. And of course, this is the adjusted share balance and both sides are equal. So if you can see just this one only, right? Also, you can see, for example, adjusting journal entries. It just showed the list of journal entries. How many journal entries are made? You can select the date, for example, all. How many journal, journal entries are made up to this point? For example, we have made up to 69. If you make more, so that is, of course, that is there. So if you more, make more, so that will be, for example, 70 and so on. So these are the adjusting, adjusting journal entries that we have made, basically. Balance sheet, you can see the balance sheet of the company from here, right? That is very simple. Okay, it is closed. Okay. Yep. Then you can see, for example, general ledger. Uh, don't say that in, in in QuickBook we don't have general ledger. We have general ledger. Click on this one. This is the ledger, for example, for Cobble Bank. This is the ledger for PT Cash. This is the ledger. So all accounts have their own ledgers, right? For each type of account, there is a ledger. So ledger is available in the QuickBook. Don't say we don't have ledger. Journal entries entered. How many journal entry entered or modified today? How many we made? Of course, we made this one. Basically, it is all. But if you consider today, so today we haven't made anything. So that's all. The next one is, of course, profit and loss. So here it's a type of report. So you can see the adjusted share balance, then journal entries, balance sheet, ledgers, and so on. Select the next one, for example, what you can see under the next one. Let us say, for example, under the banking, what we can see under the bank. So under the banking, we have these two details, check details and deposit details. Check details show that how many checks we have issued or how many check we have written. And deposit simply means that how many deposit we have made. So click on the check details, you can see how many checks we have issued and for what purpose we have issued, right? And of course, the deposit details show that how many deposit we have made. Deposit, deposit, and deposit. So these are the deposits. Not only in the case of banks, in the case of company, also you can see balance sheet, profit and loss, statements of cash flow. Check that whether we have a statements of cash flow or not. Yeah, this is the statements of cash flow. Operating activities, investing activities, and financing activities. And at the end, this is the, the cash at the end of the accounting period, right? So you know how to prepare the cash flow statements. Of course, we have to start with the net profit, that is operating activity. Then after that, of course, so we have to find out the uh, net cash provided by operating activity after that investing activity after that financing activity which i'm not going to discuss all then of course after that net cash provided by financing activity net cash increase if the balance is positive it shows that net cash increase if the balance is negative it's a net cash decrease and finally it shows the ending cash balance so you can, simply you can see the cash flow for your company as well. Click on the, this one once again. So for the accounting, for the company. So this was the profit and loss balance sheet and so on. As well as you can see, for example, for the customers, you can see aging summary, customer balance detail, customer balance summary, opening, open invites, how many invites are open, you can see that one. Not only for that one, for the employees also you can see payroll item details, payroll liability balances and so on. Check that one whether we have a balance liability or not. No, we don't have. Why we don't have? Because we did not use the payroll yet. So we will use inshallah later on. The, for example, vendors, aging of the vendors, unapplied bill details, unpaid bill details, 
then vendor balance details. So several things can be checked here, right? Below part is accounted updates. These are the updates which are available for this version of the QuickBooks. And on this side, you can see the reconciliation. These are the bank account that you can reconcile. You can reconcile your bank account, Cobalt Bank, for example, Cobalt Bank debit card, PT Cash, and so on. Anyone which you want to consider for reconciliation, you can just select it and you can reconcile. And if you select an account, for example, uh, for example, Cobble Bank. So it shows that the last reconciled. So whether we have ra we have the previous reconcile or not. If it is already available, so you can see here. Reconcile balance. If you have already reconciled, so this was the balance. And this is the current balance. So this is the current balance available. If you want to reconcile this one again, then you can do it. Right? So of course, simpler, we can reconcile different, different accounts, account of banks. But the main place was basically here itself. So you can select the account and you can reconcile. Which one you want to reconcile? The main place is basically here. Reconcile from here. If you want to reconcile, reconcile it. So any account which you want to reconcile, you can do it. But I'm not going to discuss that one. So what is here? Show accountant center when opening a company file. If you select this one, while you open the, your company, Company file, definitely they will show the accountant center. If you do not select it, so it means do not show the accountant center while opening the company file. So this was the information regarding the accountant center. Inshallah, we'll discuss this part in the coming videos. Thank